All right, so we're going into circles now, and that was Belinda Carlisle, a great 80s song. Ask me to play it in class sometime. Actually, it probably won't. Okay, uh, so we're looking at parts of a circle. First off, let's hopefully remember what a circle is. This is a circle, so I'm going to make a circle right here. There is a circle. Let's look at the parts of a circle. Right here, that is the center of a circle. The radius of a circle comes out from the center and goes to the edge. So radius is center to edge. The diameter of a circle is a line that goes edge to edge and goes through the center. So here's the diameter. That's the distance from edge to edge going through the center, edge to edge, goes through center. A chord is the distance from edge to edge, but it doesn't go through the center. And there are lots and lots of chords on any circle. Actually, they're infinite chords. So here's an example of a chord. Might be a chord. So it's it's edge to edge, but it does not go through the center. Circumference is the distance around a circle. So if this is my starting point right here, the circumference would be this distance around the circle. And the area that's how many like little squares we could fit inside the air uh, inside the circle. So the area is the inside of the circle. So let's do some problems with these. Here's our first one. Here's a circle. Nice circle. So I'm looking at this. What is C? What is this? C is the center of the circle. What is this line segment from M to L? Does it go through the center? It doesn't go through the center, so that's a chord. What is this segment? From L to M, this distance? It does go through the center, but it only goes to one edge. That's a radius. And this looks like another radius. Well, let's change it. I'm going to I'm going to change this problem then. What is it? What is it now? That is a diameter, and that's not one of our options, so let's make an option. There we go. So the answer to this, this is a diameter. All right, those are circles.